Hey, good evening. It's Monday, September 16th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. Tonight, I want to talk about the lies that we tell ourselves. And we do lie to ourselves. You might think, well, wait a minute, what does that mean? We believe the lies of the enemy, and we incorporate them into ourselves. And we start to buy into it. Those lies, they come from three places. The world, the flesh, and the devil. All three are engaged in lying to us. And to the degree that I accept those lies as truth, I limit myself. I keep myself from being the person that God has called me to be. I keep myself from being able to love as God has called me to love. I keep myself from being the son or the daughter or the husband or the wife or the worker or the Christian that God has called me to be. We know the enemy is called the great deceiver, and he's impacted the world. In Ephesians 2, we read this. He says, all of us lived at one time, gratifying the cravings of, cravings of our flesh and following his desires and thoughts. That's because that is the kingdom of the enemy. The world around us. Not the creation itself, but that world which is aligned against God has believed the lies that the enemy wants us to tell. This is in this broad category of information where we receive information and because of information we think it's valid. It's only valid if it reflects the truth of God, if it's rooted in the truth of God. But these things that we're not adequate, that we fall short for some reason, that you're not smart enough, you're not attractive enough, you're just not the right kind of person, you don't measure up. Those are the world standards that the world gives to us. And we incorporate them. And then we start to listen to them. And we believe these lies. Then there are the lies of our flesh. That flesh is that part of us, the body wrongly habituated to sin, where we have lived in this way of buying into the world's thinking that it becomes our own. We are creatures of habits. We follow patterns. We're predictable. We learn something and we buy into it, seemingly forever. So I listen to the lies of my flesh. I condemn myself. I don't, I have a personal failing. So rather than deal with it and coming before God, I just believe it. I'm never going to measure up. I'm never going to be good enough. I guess that sin is something I'm going to have to live with. I'm just discouraged all the time. I just have to live with that. I wish I could be a better person, a better... I, I, I wish I could be more positive. I wish I could be more loving and gracious, but I'm just not that way. So I believe the, the lies that my flesh is telling me. Nope, Jay, you'll never measure up in that way. So there's the world's lies that I incorporate as my own. There's the flesh that I incorporate as my own. Maybe someone has been unkind to you and abusive to you and told you that you are just not a good person, that you're always failing, that you're just never going to be good enough in this area, that you're just not kind enough or you're just not... You just don't have it in you. And we believe that, and then we tell ourselves that lie. 
And then the third place that those lies come from are from Satan himself. While he can't impact us directly, he will be influencing us to tell us things that aren't true. Remember, Satan, one of his names is Diablos, the great deceiver. You'll never be able to change. That's just who you are. Yep, you're guilty. Just live with it. So we accept we've done something wrong. We're, we're our past, we look at our past and we're upset with it. And then the enemy is accusing us. You'll never be done with that sin. It will always rule over you. Those are the lies of the world, the flesh, and the devil. The scripture tells us, the Holy Spirit tells us, that you are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for you to do. You are the work of Christ, not the work of your past, not the work of, of Satan, not the work of the things that we've messed up on. Yes, our past is important, and I've talked about that many times. But right now, as God's child, you are his workmanship. And you were created to do good things by Jesus. Jesus specifically created good things for you to do, for me to do. We find those in his word. I can love. I can be compassionate. I can change. I can put off the old and embrace the new. And that God prepared these things for me, particularly for me. Psalm 139 tells us that. But when we believe the lies that I'm never good enough, I'm never smart enough, I'm never bright enough, I was always that one that was the family mess up. I'm always that one, you're not really a good person, you're not a good lover, you're not a good, you're just not quite there. We begin to believe that. So we tell ourselves that. Why try? What Ephesians 2.10 is telling us that you and I are God's workmanship. Remember what that means. Workmanship, the Greek word poema. Literally, you can work it out. We are God's work in progress. Created in Christ Jesus for good works, which he's prepared for us to do. And he's so involved in our lives that we could take every day and believe it, that Jesus has things for me to do. We need to stop believing the lies that we tell ourselves. I'll talk some more about the truth we do need to tell ourselves. But tonight, all those negative things, where you feel like you can't make it, stop believing the lies that we tell ourselves. Ignore the world, the flesh, and the devil, and trust the word of the Spirit, the life-giving word of the Spirit which says that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ, to do great things that he's given us to do. And that's the thought for this night. Love your thoughts and your feedback. Thank you for being here, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.